This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hello everybody, it's your old pal Rob and happy, happy new year. It's, yep, another year. Really doesn't mean anything. The difference between today and yesterday really isn't anything. If you, All you do is just put a one in front of the zero. But a year has gone by. And um, I'm sitting, uh, going into my sixth year. So after five years, five years of doing this, I, I had time to sit and contemplate a little bit and think about all the things that I've learned from from the very beginning and, and the reason I, I started doing this. And for those of you that are new to the channel, I had an uncle that meant the world to me. He was a big hobbyist, loved, um, loved hobbies, loved painting, uh, science fiction, uh, board games, fantasy, all that stuff. Um, uh, went to Woodstock, was a Jimi Hendrix guy and a David Bowie guy, so I've always been partial to them because you know, it was just so cool to be around my uncle. And I remember his room just being this big aquarium where he had all kinds of different types of life and all these tanks and they were just piled up to the ceiling almost. And the lights and you know it's just a, a, a cool room you know for a kid back in in the early 70s um, to see he had died oh god I want to say hmm, eight eight maybe nine years ago um, might be a little longer than that but I missed him terribly we moved down to Florida and I remember the last time I saw him and uh, he was he was emotional about us moving down here. Um, and boy, that was in 2000, I think 2000, somewhere in there. So he came down to Florida and then uh, we got a call that um, unfortunately uh, he had passed away. He was young, um, a lot younger than I am right now. Um, but I think of him every single day. So I started this channel um, for two reasons. It was one, you know, I, I was really getting back into the hobby and, uh, you know, I would see things and I just said, you know something, I'm just going to go back and, and, and start painting a lot more, uh, like I used to with him when I was a kid. And, um, I started doing that and I started watching YouTube because YouTube was in, in its infancy. And I just started collecting and collecting and collecting more, even though I, had a ton to begin with uh but we were heading into the golden age of board gaming and 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 things like that and uh i had seen um uh, uh tom vassal and the dice tower of course you know who hasn't seen tom and uh, and uh the dice tower and uh i came up with this idea to to do something to help his uh foundation the Jack Vassell Foundation and uh, I decided to film the creation of a four by four Death Star four foot by four foot uh, trench that people could uh, play and I, I came up with a scenario and everything for the Death Star and it was it was a lot of fun it, it was a lot of fun and then I brought it and uh, believe it or not it sold at the auction and I was completely shocked by that. Well, I had filmed all that, so I put it up on YouTube, not knowing anything. And then uh, um, about a couple months later, I just started making videos. And before you know it, here I was. Next thing, I was with the Dice Tower uh, uh, the following year. And, um, and then I started doing this full time, more or less to say. Uh, five years, 4,000 videos later uh, it seems I always had something to say or something to share with people but with that behind me you know these last five years and when you take five years of your life you tend to really take a look back and go wow you know is this worth doing or is this not worth doing because you know you go from that 
beginning period where you're very naive. And I hope, you know, that for me, getting this out on, on the tape and putting this up on the channel, maybe it helps some of the younger guys that are trying to uh, do the same thing that I do. Um, not that I'm any big expert or, or have any kind of influence on anything. Um, uh, if you really want to see the blueprint on how to do things, you go to the Dice Tower, you go to Rodney Smith, um, uh, Rolling Solo, and, and, and you know, uh, the, the Ricky Royals. Um, and, 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 and you'll learn and see what they do. But I've taken away five things. Not all of them, they both have good and bad things. And I figured after five years, share five things that I've learned along the way. Um, so here are the five things that I've, I've learned over the last five years. As today, we head into our sixth year. Six. It's a long time. The first thing, I, 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 and these are in no order. I'm just talking about these in any order I feel like talking about them. Is don't I, I learned not to try to be uh, a cult of the new person, which is a silly saying, anyways. Um, but when something comes out, don't rush it. Do it in your own time. Uh, for me, when I tried to do that, I think I made more mistakes than I do now, and I make a lot of mistakes. And I think, um, well, we'll talk about that in, an, in another section of this. But being being that guy to get that that first video out there uh, of a new hot game uh it, it 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 really if you if you don't take the time and really go through it and understand it and and comprehend it uh you're not doing anybody a service okay yeah you're gonna get all the hits in the world and maybe some subscribers and if that's what you want then 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 keep doing it keep doing it but um, I take my I, I've been taking a lot of time with things um, whether I take the time to make sure they're painted or or make sure I understand them a little bit better so I can at least do it I can't remember everything it's a one-man show here it really is and I've learned that just taking my time and get it out when I get it out if people want to watch it they're gonna want to watch it and it's not always that they they um, they watch they watch for the product as much as if you really think about it if something's really hot there's there's 5,000 videos out there okay of the same thing it's maybe they just want to watch your take on it and if you can give them the very best and take your time with it and uh, don't worry about hits and all that other stuff um, if you're in it for that anyways um, you know, either you're doing a business, which very few, 1%, 2% can survive as a business. Um, or you're looking for popularity, which that's not going to get you popularity. What's going to get you popularity is just, just doing the right things and doing them for the right reasons. But trying to rush something out doesn't always help you. Uh, the second thing that I've taken away in the last five years is that I look at where I started, you know, with that Death Star uh, in the kitchen um, and filming with a, a little junky camera. And I wish I had a really good camera back then because a lot of the stuff I did, I wish I did with a good camera to, you know, Evolving it into a game night with my, with my kids where we would get together for a while and we would have these uh, battles over this silly belt we made and and just play like three or four games in an evening and my the queen would would cook something and uh, everybody would always ask what we're cooking and um, and, and, and I've had to learn how to adapt and how to change and how to reinvent myself. Um, it, it, and at times it's been scary. It, it, it's, you know, it's so easy to stay with everybody's formula. Hi, you know, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, keep your hands folded a certain way and sit there and go, we're going to explain the two to three, uh, three player game, you know, 
you keep on doing that same old thing, it just, it, it becomes stale and it doesn't become fun. I've taken some chances and done some different things. Not all of them were successful. Not all of them were liked. But I was willing to take and evolve and change. Now listen, I don't have any formula on how to have a great channel because this isn't a very big channel. But 15,000 in five years is, is probably par for the course. Um, unlike an, an individual that that I know that, that you know has been doing this for about 14 years and goes to every uh, you know and and has has you know just refused to change and um, you know taken advantage of things and things like that but we'll get to all those kind of things later I don't think um, you, you know that's that's part of this section this section is about adapting and changing and and becoming and and you know just constantly moving I mean we started with a, a smaller table over there and then a game topper uh, out in the, the 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 great room and then you know from back to the kitchen uh, during the summer then I decided to say all right let's invest some money into this and put an air conditioning out here so I don't swelter in the Florida heat and it keeps everything nice and safe out here so we have a climate control out here and um, we built our own table you've seen our built our table and we evolve into different games and different things and and things that I enjoy doing because I love taking risks because I believe in my heart that by doing doing that I'm evolving and growing as a creator and being able to bring to my loyal uh, followers, and I do have loyal followers, which is unbelievable unto itself. But that 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 um, not being stale, you know, nobody's going to stay forever. You know, people move on, and that, you know, and that's part of another thing that you know, maybe a sixth thing that don't be upset about that kind of stuff. Which kind of leads us into number three, the internet as a whole. Um, <clears throat> it is the most, the, the internet is so good, yet it is so bad. Um, you know, I, I probably could have grew the channel more if I had a Facebook uh, um, page, but I don't. Uh, I can't do the, um, my job. And... Um, I, I don't ever want to risk all those years that I've put into this job. Um, <clears throat> so I don't have that. I'm allowed to have a Twitter, but all I do is put up pictures on there. But I see what goes on in Twitter. And I see what goes on <clears throat> in the comments and, and how they treat certain people. And some people are, are, are forgiven for, for immeasurable sins. Where if it was someone uh, smaller, it would destroy everything that they tried to build. <clears throat> you know, I sit back and and um, and I've learned a couple things that you know. At first, when I was first doing this, all the you know, when we did get thumb that thumbs down, when somebody would thumb something down before they even looked at it, um, that not everybody's going to like you, and that you have to have thick skin at this, and and and. And that there's there's people out there in, in the internet that just sit there, you know, in their mom's house, and and uh, you know take their Saturday afternoon bath, and that's all they have is the internet and being cruel because they're angry about their own lives. I wish they they'd be more open and express how unhappy they are, and that maybe accept that you know. There are people out there, there are great channels out there or, or, or all kinds of different creators that want to help, that want to make you feel welcome and make you feel a part of things, but they just can't accept that. Maybe they're jealous because they tried to do the same thing or um, as I always put it in an analogy, um, an old woman slips, you're driving down the road and an old woman slips on some ice, but a young boy catches her. But to the right, there's a train wreck, okay? What are you going to look at? You're, you're not going to look at the, 
the boy and, and, and talk about the boy that 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 saved that, that old woman from being hurt you're gonna look at the train wreck because that's the worst thing because people love drama and, and they love using drama any way they can you know you know the five o'clock news doesn't start with hey the young boy saved saved um, saved this woman it starts with 150 people died in, in this train wreck or or this person did something corrupt and somewhere in there in a very small blurb is that feel-good story uh, that keeps you coming back but people want to see that that drama and when people can't learn how to create a lot of times um, whether you know they have enough followers on their Twitter or Instagram or YouTube page they rather go for the drama instead of looking in the mirror and doing something good to help some of these people that maybe just don't understand things the world needs more help than it does pointing fingers and saying well you don't conform to the way I think so we have to destroy you at all costs uh, you'll find that in the board gaming community but we'll talk more about that and, and another thing that we have to do um, but there's also been so much good from the internet okay you know you can look at all the people that are cruel on the internet and then look what a beautiful resource the internet is um, people that are handicapped and can't get out in the world or, or see it or, or, or at a disadvantage or have rare sicknesses and things like that it opens the world to them it closes and makes the world smaller and they get to interact with people all over the world one of the one of the most beautiful things about this channel is I've learned through the internet here is that I've got to interact with so many people from around the world whereas the Dutch Yodas the 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 Stephs um, um, uh, people from Australia from Japan uh, Charlie Fox and uh, I mean uh, and his wonderful children um, uh, you know so many people from around the world it has closed the world for me and I've uh, beautiful people from South Africa and and many other places in the world I've tried to help so many and and touch and move so many that I hope at the end of the day when this is over that I'll be remembered as somebody that tried his best not for the size of my channel not for the size of uh, of my views or anything else or the 4,000 videos I've done but I've given somebody hope and happiness and that's all you can ever ask for and I think that leads into our fourth thing be who you are don't be a personality um, at first I tried um, when I was I was with the Dice Tower, and I I, I have to thank Tom Vassell for the opportunity. Um, I learned so much from him, um, and I know he may think otherwise, but um, but I really do. Uh, I to this day, um, I, I don't watch this channel anymore now that Sam's gone, and it's not it's not a slight on on the Dice Tower. It's just people change people go to different things and I don't have time to look at all these different channels there's a couple that I always check on rolling solo Ricky Royal who is a uh, just him and Rodney Smith just really stand out to me as being what I'm talking about be the person who you are not a personality because I've had the pleasure of meeting um, Rodney Chaz and those type of guys um, and Adam from Rolling uh, Solo um, um, and, and um, a, a few others that, that I mean I could sit here and name a bunch but I had the chance to meet these guys and the kindness and the people that they are are really the people who they are off camera and it really it really gives you hope in what we're going to talk about in our next in our fifth uh, thought but you know when I first started I tried to be you know I looked at Tom and I tried to be more like Tom you know just boom 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 and I realized that's not who I am I nobody can be Tom Vassell only Tom Vassell can be Tom Vassell 
and he's the best at being Tom Vassell. Plus, he's just very good, period. But I decided not to take snippets from anybody else, but just be myself. And for me, that was trying to do charity, which is the re one of the reasons we started it. Um, we did a lot of things to help help people with, with different types of problems in honor of my uncle. And I decided that, that I was just going to be who I really am because people eventually figure it out. You know, they figure out if you are or if you aren't who you are. Um, am I perfect? Am I flawed? Oh, God, yeah. And does it show? Yeah, sure. And I'm not afraid to show that flaw. I don't want to be a wax figure, you know, on this side of the lens. So I tell you how I feel. I show when I'm, I'm, I'm not happy. I show when I am happy. Um, um, I make sure that I, 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 I'm doing things that I like to do, things I'm excited about, because you can't fake happiness. You can't fake excitement about a game. You know, one of the things, you know, having a fantastic sponsor like Miniature Market and, 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 you know, I'm not trying to sell you on a miniature market. If you want to shop, you shop wherever you want. But I'll tell you this much. I've gotten to know these people. They've become personal friends. I've saved a lot of money at miniature market. And they've always done the right things. And listening to Steven, when he took a chance on this channel, when we only had 800 people. All right, we had 800 people following us. And I went to him and I said, yeah, I'd like to do something if you like to do something. And, uh... Uh, I have also have to thank Joe for introducing me to Stephen. Uh, we've become the best of friends in the last, you know, four years. Okay, and it's not because they're my sponsor. Um, what, you know, it's not even that they're a sponsor. You know, um, you know, once in a while they'll they'll send a few things. I like to make videos for them and and I advertise for them because I care about them. Don't get paid by them. So I don't think it, it's ever a paid uh, a, a paid video. It's because I believe in them, and they believe in me. And anything I've ever needed or wanted or 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 wanted to get something for the channel, they've always helped me. And that's how we work together as friends. We spend more ta time talking about other things than anything else, and that's the reality of it. And that's why. You know, you hear me always talk uh, 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 about them and, and and things like that. You know, it's real. The relationship is real. It's not paid for. And that's what I bring to this channel. I open up my home, my family. You know, her yelling at me, for, you know, for taking up her Christmas space over here. Or her yelling at me for for not eating right or this that and the other or or some of the live disagreements that we'll have in the middle of playing a uh, game or some of the jokes that we'll talk about or bringing my granddaughter in or talking about my grandson or my son and my daughter and all the things that we've gone through life losing our our, our, our puppy that one time um Sophia, who was uh, everything to us, but our two dogs now, Gabby, who is so loyal to me and, and, and means so much to me. I fear every day and I let you know how I feel that as she gets older, it's now, she's now, uh, she just turned six, you know, how much that hurt and how much pain that caused, you know, we continue to grow, we continue to to pull back the curtain. Why? Because I feel close with you guys. And it kind of goes back to the internet, the goodness of the internet. Um, it does a lot of positive things. It brings people from all around the world together. And, and, and it brought us together. The people that watch, you know, the few people that will watch this actual video all the way through. Um, <laughs> but it's this type of thing. That, that that by being myself, you get to see myself. You A lot of you have gotten to meet me in per person. A lot of you, I wish I could have helped when, I, when I, I was able to. I couldn't, and I apologize. And a lot of you, I've been able to help. Some of you, I've got annoyed with. Some of you, I, I, I love to death, and I miss. Some of you have gone and moved on, and I still think about you. It's those relationships you build. It's that thing that, that happens. 
um, that becomes very personal. And every time I turn on this camera, it becomes personal to me. It means something to me. And, and that is why I continue to keep on going. That's why I have five thousand, you know, four thousand videos. It's because I always have something to say and share with you. And if you don't have that, I think it shows. And you know, the average life of a channel is three years. You know, I've surpassed that. You know, have I thought about quitting at times? Yeah. Has there been good and bad? Yeah. You know, it's a funny thing, and it goes back to the internet thing. You know, we we go back to number three again. You know, there have been. You know, YouTube's a funny thing. Doing this is a funny thing. There are tremendously good days where everything's going right and people are subscribing and you get views and people are interacting. And then you have that day where, you know, five or six people leave and you go, well, why did they leave? What did I do? Did I do something wrong? Am I do creating too much? Am I changing things? Am I not stale? And, you, and I used to start to doubt myself and it would be up and down up and down up and down you know and I and I finally pulled myself back and this goes back this comes forward to four again you know just be yourself play the things that you enjoy be who you are if they want to watch they'll watch if you build it some will come maybe some won't Maybe some young, you know, some younger guy will come and, and, and do it so much faster than you. And that's okay. Because he's providing a service, hopefully. Hopefully he's a good person. And that kind of... And, and I just decided uh, about a year or two ago, maybe a little longer than that, I was just going to be me, do what I want, how I want, when I want. If I finish things, great. If I promise things, do the best to live up to it. Sometimes things get in the way. Life gets in the way, boy. Boy, life gets in the way. We all know that. We all know that. But provide something that'll be there for those that need it and those that care about it. And when it comes to the point that someday that somebody just doesn't watch the videos anymore, that's the time to ride out. I thought, you know, that, you know, we were going to head into the last year this year. And yet I've been so comfortable doing this. And um, I just think I can go a little further. And we're going to try. Maybe, maybe that's true. Maybe that's not. We'll, we'll find out. Um, I'm surrounded by great people. And um, I, I'm appreciative for it. And one of the things I've learned about this, nobody's going to care about your channel more than you. And uh, you can only rely on you. We've had some wonderful people here. But it really comes down to me. And, uh, and how much I create how I do things timely and it all really just boils down to me because it's nobody else's but mine and it's my responsibility and if I have something to say turn it on say it and and be there for people uh, some people look forward to things and some people come some people go but most of all just just keep on doing and being myself and I'll be all right the final thing that I've learned, and I think it's been the most harshest, and there's so much bad to it, and yet there's so much good to it. And that's um, being a board game creator amongst a ton of board game creators. You know, there's a special breed out there that that does this, okay? Um, and everybody thinks they can do it. Sure, everybody can do it. But do you do it for the right reasons? Which kind of, as you can see, all these interconnect into one kind of big story. There's a lot of bad creators. Everybody wants to paint this picture like it's this great big community. But it's a business, folks. I'm going to let you know something that you probably already know. It's a business. And... Um, <clears throat> You can only, <clears throat> the really successful ones, there's only 10% of those. If, if Probably less. You know, the Dice Towers, the Rodney Smiths, okay, watch it played, the Chazzes, the Board Game Geeks, the, um, um, you know, and, and these are all 
wonderful people and and they're successful because they're smart you know all the probably one of the, the greatest guys on the earth salt of the earth and it's always been kind to me uh, lets me do whatever I feel like doing and I'll be back on BGG as soon as we can get this part off and I can do a little more consistent painting and feel a little bit more comfortable and get back with Candace who I, I miss terribly I love playing games with her um, but there's a you know if you go into this thinking I'm gonna be this big creator I'm gonna be popular because I've never been popular in my life and this is a way to be popular um, you you're you're doing it for all the wrong reasons okay you don't like your job well find a job that you do like do you think you can do this and you could beg borrow and steal um, you know begging people nowadays that are going through so much there's so many people that are out of work there's so many people that are hurting because of the things that have transpired in the last year and they go out there and beg for money uh, so you can have a good life and sit home and play board games I can't see that now, if people want to give money to people I don't have a problem with that and 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 you know when you look at at, at a lot of these social media things it's a funny thing they're they're very unique because this also goes back to internet a bit you know you're providing a service cable TV is junk now it's just crap and be able to turn on YouTube and, and look up something that you want to see and have somebody that really is not acting really do the right things again the Ricky Royals of Rodney Smith's uh, the geek gamers Ugh, I love her she, she, she's wonderful um, and all these other you know, good people good you know I, I rolling solo you know I keep on coming back to him you know a good friend and there, there's other people that are out there that that I've become friendly with the Moe's the the gimpies <clears throat> you know and, and, and don't get me wrong they want to be popular everybody wants to be popular in their hearts but that's not always the way and how people go about things, um, you know, is is not always good. There's, there's, there's. I've I've run in and I've 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 hardened myself to 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 pull away from board game content creators. I have a few that I contact and talk to, very very few. But for the most part, part you know, if you think about it, a game comes out and now. You know, you, you look at the big guys, shut up, sit down. That's another one. That's a big one. Um, you know, you got your upper, upper tier. And then you got everybody else. You know, you got your middle tiers. Or, 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 or you know, that are growing. You know, Dan King, fantastic job. You know, Game Boy Geek. He's been doing this forever. And uh, does a great job. You know, I, I don't want to forget. I, I try to throw out people because I don't want to forget certain people that, that I like. Um, and I've, I've learned through experiences that there are people that are just want, they want your money. They don't care about you as a person. Uh, they pretend to be, and they try to sell you on a whole bunch of things. Uh, do they provide a, a service to a degree? Do they give you what, what, what you need? Maybe, I don't know. But if you're not in that top echelon that does this and 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 really m moves the needle, you know, Dice Tower or Rodney gets a game and they show you that game, um, it moves the needle. Um, and at the end of the day, people become frustrated and they will do whatever it takes to be that famous guy, and they'll lie to you, and you don't see it. Um, there's a lot of people that aren't good. Like I said, there are a lot of people that are good. I, you know, the Ricky Royals, again, Rodney. You know, I, I can name the same people over and over again. But but let me just tell you, they are good and they are true. And they are providing you a great service. Okay? And they do a great job at it. And they are the ones that keep this board game hobby going. As well as people making great games. Okay? But let's face it. There's a lot of people making a lot of games. And they need to get their game out there. And people promise the world to them. 
Uh, I know one creator that I, I just surpassed. That it was one of my goals in my life to surpass this one person because he would go around at Gen Con or whatever con it was, was and he would point and go to every single table and get a free game and use who he was working with or whatever and and get ever and then take pictures of pallets of games being shot being shipped home now all these people worked so hard to make these games yeah sure you could say it makes ten dollars but all the money they had to put forward they need to get that money back so he ships all these games home and he never makes a video about them pallets and pallets of games you never see a video on them how is it, it ruins it for so many people that are honest and good and kind another situation um, and I'm pointing these out because these are experiences that I've had over the last five years um, a kid and I uh, that that I really like um, uh, I can't say his name properly because I can't hear it and he has the same problem I have a hearing deficit um, and he's been through a lot he's a very very good kid uh, meet me at the table when Midaria came out uh, I had quickly got that all painted up and uh, he and I were going to do a live playthrough live on uh, on the channel we got an email from another guy um, who I, I got to meet at, at, at Board Game Geek and uh, and I don't want to throw out names because you know something that's one of the things I want to talk about here uh, going forward and I, I just don't like trashing people but I like telling you the experiences and the things that have hardened me and not hardened me but but taught me a lot because I've gone into this believing that people are good I always try to believe people are good until you find out that you know everybody going oh the board game community is such a wonderful place it's not it's no different than any other business any other sport any other any other anything else that can that you put people in people are are good and people are bad and people are always trying to get what you have the grass is always greener on the other side back to the store so we're going to do the Medaria and we get uh, an email hey why don't we do this live together why don't you hold off I have to go on a business trip for two weeks and when I come back we'll do this all together it'd be a lot of fun all right I'll help you because I've always tried to help smaller channels because I know what a struggle it is to get going to try to get advice to try to get somewhere I, I've had a grind for everything I ever wanted in this and I've grinded without begging borrowing asking or anything else um, and uh, so I tell I tell Brant I think it is uh, Barnet Barnet something like that forgive me and he says, "Yeah, sure." He was all excited. He had this, you know, little channel that was just just getting off the ground. And I think he had like like a thousand, eleven hundred people at the time. I think he's up to three thousand now. Go support him. He's a good kid. Very, very good kid. Pure of heart. Matter of fact, he's doing a lot of work with uh, another good, great channel, One Stop Co-op. Week goes by. All of a sudden, a whole series of videos on Madar Madaria comes out. Madara comes out and I went you gotta be kidding me and we got pulled because we were way ahead he knew it we were talking about it we were making videos of it and he wanted to slow us down so he can get his videos out and get the hits and oh that that ticked me off never wrote him never said anything to him because I do things face to face went to BGG con saw him he saw me you could tell he was uneasy, and I went up to him and I called him a piece of garbage. And I told him what he did. He's a scumbag for what he did. And I said, if he if he disagrees, the two doors are out there. We'll go outside and we'll settle this. And of course, he ran. Like the coward that he was. But but that's the kind of thing that, that, that you have to deal with. It's day-to-day -day stuff. It's real-life stuff that you deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. It's people always trying to get a hole ahead of people. I've never went and begged and borrowed, you know, begged companies to send me stuff. They wouldn't send it to me anyways. You know, I always believed that if I did enough stuff, people would notice me and send me things uh, if they wanted to and they wanted me to do something for it. I never, I, I never charged anybody. 
Um, and I also learned a lesson in this that to stop doing the Kickstarter stuff for people. Um, because all I would say is don't pay me. You know, I, 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 there's nothing wrong with getting paid. Don't, don't take that wrong. But I believe that, that it wasn't big enough that, you know, if I felt comfortable that I would be able to move the needle for you, then maybe we would talk about it or, or figure something out. But all I ever said is when the Kickstarter fulfilled, do me a favor, send me a copy. Trick shot hockey is a perfect example. Everybody got theirs. Um, I asked them very kindly just to send me a copy when it fulfilled. Didn't get one. Okay. No big deal. But that's happened not only with that, but a lot of games. A lot of games that I've done Kickstarter previews. That's why you really don't see it unless it's for somebody who I have a personal relationship. Uh, DVG, who have been nothing but good to me. Flying Pig Games, who have been fantastic. Uh <sighs> One of the kindest people in the world, everything epic games. Um, cool Mini or Not has been fantastic to me. Um, a GMT Compass Games. I've built relationships by not asking, not taking, but giving. And that's, a, that's another thing. You, you know, it, how people do things is how they do things. And that's the way I see it. You know, I don't, I don't believe that I move the needle enough. But how do you move the needle? You just keep grinding and you work hard. And if you work hard and you believe in what you're doing and if you're doing it for the right reasons, okay, to move people, to, to help people, to, to do things, to show things, your enthusiasm for a hobby that you love, if that is the core of your channel, you're gonna be successful. And there's a lot, you know, every time you turn around, like today, there's probably 100 people that just started new channels saying, I'm going to be a board game creator. Okay? There's 100 channels that do it. And if they're doing it for the right reasons, not to become famous and make it their full-time job. At the end game, everybody would like to do that to some, some degree. But be careful what you wish for. Be careful what you wish for. Because... In the long run, in the in the very, very long run, the minute you start getting paid for it, it becomes a job. And you lose that enthusiasm to some degree. There's the rare people that don't lose that enthusiasm. There's a specialness with Tom Vassell that he loves games so much. He really does. Regardless of what anyone thinks of him, he loves games. Okay? And at the core of it, he loves them so much. You know, and and it shows, and that's why he's successful. The Rodneys, uh, the Ricky Royals, all of them are extremely successful because at the core of it, they love games. And they're able to make this a business and take care of their, their families. God bless them. They deserve it. You know, and uh, I admire them for that. For me... This is nothing more than a part-time job in a lot of ways. It's something I enjoy. I've raised and done a lot of good. I've helped a lot of people pay a lot of mortgages, um, saved families in any way I can, given to charities, um, done so many things, given away things that were personal to me uh, to, to move and help people. For me, that's how it works for me. It doesn't have to work that way for everybody. And don't get me wrong. What these people are doing is, is not horribly wrong. Because it's not up for me to tell you who's good or bad. That's for you to decide. That's for you to learn. That's a life experience. That's for you to understand and, and, and go through and, and figure out. There's so much good. But then there's the people that get frustrated. Who use use their their or, or try to attain popularity by destroying others by 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 pushing their life agendas on others through board gaming um and and, and becoming very clicky um you know you look at, at at origins um the reason of the legendary second floor bar there uh because so many things happen up there uh, there's been more disasters that have happened 
in there and rumors and, and things that have destroyed people's careers because of people trying to get ahead to be that victim so everybody would come to them and subscribe to them and it's a cheap way to become popular it is instead of putting in the hard work people a lot of people put in shortcuts where there's a lot of people that never go anywhere that put in the hard work and can't understand why because they do the right things it's like anything else in life so don't think that this is all some rosy party because it, it isn't it does have its great points in it and it's and it's wonderful things don't think this is just a oh, the, the world's gonna fall you know and this may not be a popular video As a matter of fact who the hell's gonna sit here and watch this for for a half hour which I think I've been going for a while I will tell you this much and I will end on this I have learned so much that I've pulled away from a lot of that and I will still try to help those smaller creators the one pip wonders who I, I, I love because of the purity and the goodness in their hearts and I always will talk with the Rodneys and the the Ricky Royals and the Moes and the Gimpies and, and and the people that I hold dear to me okay and the geek gamers who was the salt of the earth um, and, and so many others and, 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 and the Aldis who um, have always been very very good and kind to me and and, 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 and and you know I can't exclude all the things that I've learned from from Tom Vassell either okay who's taught me so much and helped me along my way I wouldn't be where I am if it wasn't for Tom Vassell and I want to thank him personally for that so after heading into the sixth year um, you're gonna see more of the same you're gonna see me okay and whether you like that or you don't that's up to you but just know that I'm going to be who I am and I'm always just going to always just enjoy the company and the friends that I have and the Pete Shireys who I love dearly who I call I haven't done since uh, my arm but I, I, I would usually call once or twice a week and we would just talk just talk about life, board gaming community, whatever, gossip. <laughs> we do it. Keep things off the record. Tell each other things that nobody else knows. And um, that kind of friendship has always been beautiful for me. And I'm thankful for that. And I love him dearly. And, I, I, you know, sometimes he needs to hear that. Um, thank you all. Thank you all. And especially the people that follow the channel. Thank you for a wonderful five years. Uh, so many of you have done so much. The Timmy D's, the, the Kabuki's, the Godzilla lovers, the Helens, um, so many people. I, I just can't list you all. The Johns, the Charlies, um, uh, uh, the, the Sean Mikowski's who with, without his donations early on and, and the things that he sent me to help me be, get going, I'd never be where I was at and he his kindness and his goodness um, um, so many people the Graham Tastics who I, I've lived through some of the tragedies that so many of the uh, of our people have gone through and you know seen them at their lowest and now at their highest um, those are the things that move me. Those are the things that continue me to go. It's the people. It's the people I'm talking through through this lens. And I know this is very long. But it's something that has always been about this channel. Is speaking from my heart. This isn't scripted. That I don't have a bunch of notes in front of me. And what I do have is an a how to put aliens together in front of me. This is me just speaking from the top of my head and I'm, and I'm going to regret some of the things I said and I'm going to really wish I put in some of the things I, I said. So whether you like this video or you don't, this is me. This is who I am. This is who this channel is. Whether this channel becomes popular or not, doesn't matter to me. It's the people that matter. Okay? It's my small group of people that have been loyal, caring, loving, um, and behind me. And I don't want to forget the Tims and, and all the other people. Please, if I haven't mentioned you, know that that you're there. The Stephs, the people that come on, on Sundays and watch Subudio, um, uh, and the, the people that put up with the Tiger and, and the wrestling and all the other junk that we do. Thank you. 
I hope I can do another five, ten, five years and make it to 10. I'm an old man. This is not an old man's market. This is not an old man's um, a world for this type of stuff. This is a young man's game. And there are some fantastic up and coming uh, board game creators and follow them and grow with them and and listen to them they're they're wonderful it's not all bad okay but sometimes people need to point out the bad that's it for me happy new year's january 1st let's try to go on in the coming months and do our best to continue to be strong and get ourselves through what has been a very tough tough time in the world and the only way we're going to get through it is by being together and continuing and trying and fighting and believing and accepting the test that has been put upon us and to get through it the best we can. Until next time, Joel Powell Rob. Happy New Year's.